But if you look at the rest of these shapes, you can see I had a lot of leakage in each one of these that was really quite frustrating. This is not the kind of line that I want. I want something nice, crisp, and clean. I want something really tight. Kind of like what we're getting in this painting right now. Let's start off by going over the various different tapes that we have to try. Let's go ahead and take it over to the overhead shots. First off, we have the traditional Scotch masking tape. Lots of people use that, so definitely got to keep that in the mix. Then we have the highly recommended and used frog tape. There's that. And then this one is Scotch blue. It says multi-surface, so I figured... I don't know if there's any real major difference between some of these, to be honest with you. This is multi-surface. This is just masking tape. And then this one is surface roguske, <laughs> rough surface, there it is. So this is meant for rough surfaces, which it can probably be useful when you have an abstract painting that has a lot of texture in it. So there's that one. And then there was the Gorilla Tape. So I'm a little concerned about what's going to happen with the Gorilla Tape. Uh, I'm sure it probably has a very strong adhesive to it. So we will see about that. We'll go ahead and compare all these and figure out which one does the best. The first thing that I want to do is actually lay down a background layer. So I did get a little bit of a tip and a piece of advice from another creator, an artist friend of mine, left brain artist. He did mention in uh, a comment on Instagram that it's a good idea to put down a layer of paint. Now typically this is generally what I do before I start using tape, but I just figured I'd share that little tip with you. Uh, before we get started. Now for our background layer, since St. Patty's Day is coming up and St. Patrick's Day is actually my birthday, I figured I'd do a little bit of a green theme on this one. So we're gonna start with the lime green for our background. Let's get into it. For our first tape test, we are going to use the masking tape, standard masking tape, which is what most people use. I know uh, Mike McDonald, my friend Mike McDonald, gets pretty good results using masking tape. Maybe I'm just not as skilled as he is, I don't know. But uh, let's go ahead and give it a shot. We'll come back in a few minutes once that's dry and we'll do a very satisfying tape pull on that. While we're waiting for that to dry, let's move on to a separate tape or the next tape in our list of things to try. So next is we'll go with the frog tape since it's already open. This actually comes in instead of like all that plastic, it comes in a, its own little case like this. So I don't know why. I guess they feel like they need these extra material, whatever. First off, I like that it's nice and fat. I do have another roll of frog tape that's quite a bit thinner than this. So by thinner, I mean like, like width wise. But we'll go ahead and do something like, I guess we'll go ahead and do this. Let's see if we can guide the eye. So one thing I'm always thinking about 
when I'm placing tape like this or when I'm figuring out where to put elements. It's first off, the rule of thirds. I'm sure many of you know that. Your cameras all have it when you go to take a picture, whether you notice it or not. But uh, you kind of want to think about ways to guide the eye through the painting. So that seems like it's sticking really nice already. I feel like that should get us a really nice line. That's one thing to, to think about with every painting is how are you going to challenge yourself with this painting? So in this particular painting, we're not so much worried about that because we're testing the tape, but I always try to kind of, you know, if I'm going to do a painting, I want to try and find some sort of skill to work on and try and build up. So if you take that approach, I promise you before you know it, you're going to be making masterpieces. Masterpieces. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> I just don't know. These things just happen. Okay, so that whole time, I forgot to hit record on the overhead shot, so, and I'm about to run out of battery on the camera. Wonderful, this is just going great. Before I lose my camera here, I just wanna take a look and show you what I've done so far. We got the masking tape over here, we got the frog tape over here. We went ahead and painted a, a layer of hooker green on both of these, and when we come back, we'll go ahead and remove that tape once this is all dry, and we'll take a look and see how clean the lines are when we have our paint dry. Ah! Okay, so I've already messed up this video so many times by not hitting record on my overhead shot, so we didn't get any of the painting part, but we're gonna get the most important part, and that's the taking off of the tape and seeing how clean our lines are. So, here we have the masking tape, and here we have the frog tape. So we're just starting with these two, and we've painted our dark green, and now we're gonna see how clean the lines come out. So, let's go ahead and get some tape pull in action here. Ooh, well, that's the tape tearing. That's not so much the lines not being good. All right, let's try this again. Wow, okay, that's pretty nice. Of course it is, because I'm doing a video on it. Watch every single one of these come out perfect. And then we won't even know which one. We'll just have to be like, okay, guess it doesn't make a difference. <laughs> that would be my luck. Okay, so here we have a little leakage. See a little bit, but it's still a pretty clean line for the most part. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so now let's do the frog tape. We'll start with this over here. That one's pretty nice too. Okay, we'll do the side. All right. So far, we've got pretty clean lines on both of these. Well, this isn't quite going how I expected it would. Thought at least the masking tape would give us some leakage. Okay. Well, that's the first two. So now, let's go ahead and try, we'll try the Scotch Rough Surface next and see how that does. It's also green like the frog tape, so don't get them confused, it's not frog tape. It's Scotch Rough Surface. Scotch Rough Surface. All right, so instead, make it nice and long so we get across the canvas here. And we'll go ahead and do something like that.
All right, so let's get some pretty nice stick to it. It's looking pretty good. All right, I have a feeling this one's gonna give us some pretty nice results as well. Yikes, it got bunched up here on the side. Okay, let's go ahead and get a little white in the mix. Get a little titanium white going on here. We'll keep it nice and thin so it's a little bit transparent. We can see some of these greens, some of these green colors. Back and we're going to remove the tape that's meant for rough surfaces and we'll see whether or not it gets a clean line or not. So far we're two for two. Can we get three for three? Is our ultimate conclusion to this video going to just be user error? Hence being me, I'm the user. <laughs> Oh man, that one's pretty nice. And let's do the other side. Okay, that one's got a little leakage. I don't know if you can see this right here, but that's the kind of thing I want to avoid. But for the most part, man, that's pretty nice. That is pretty freaking nice. We're gonna save the Gorilla Tape for last. Kind of scared that's actually going to damage the painting. We'll, we'll f find out though. All right, now we're going with the Scotch Blue Tape it's original multi surface. Okay. It's meant for whatever surface you might have. It's meant for whatever surface you might have. All right, so now we got to, whoa. Well, I gotta cover up this spot, so let's try and get a line right through there. This one would be really good since it's so fat. Be really good for my large painting that I'm working on that I haven't yet finished. Started that a couple weeks ago and I posted pictures about it on Instagram and I still haven't finished it. Probably because I was gonna run out of tape. Also probably because I've been busy with other things. So in case you haven't seen, I got all of these uh, different rules of tape in a video I did a few weeks ago when I did a Home Depot run for art supplies. So if you haven't checked that out, I'll go ahead and put a link in the card up here. Definitely check that out. I'll also put a link in the description below. And you can see the stash that I got and we're gonna slowly be working our way through that stash in the next videos. This is part of that process. Oh no, it's all stuck together. Yeah. That's not how you do this. That's not how you do this, guys. Ah, okay. I saved it. I saved it.
think that will suffice for now. Now we just gotta let that dry. We gotta let that dry. And then we can try the Gorilla Tape. And it might ruin the whole painting. We'll see about that. We're back. The paint is dry and we're going to see if we got some nice clean lines with the multi-purpose scotch tape. The big blue stuff, the big blue tape. I believe that's the tape that you see John Beckley using a lot in his paintings, so we should be able to get some good results with it. Okay. Nice, nice, that's very nice. I like, I like. And now, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, would you look at that? There's, there's some leakage right there on the white. Okay, so, man, this is not at all going how I thought it would. <laughs> Almost all of these tapes have done pretty good so far. We're moving on to the Gorilla Tape. If I can figure out how to open it. Oh man, it's already, like I don't even have the tape off yet and it's sticking to my fingers. Ooh, ooh, that's got a smell to it too. Okay, well what are we gonna do with this? What are we gonna do with these? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This, this is probably gonna ruin this painting. <laughs> but we must try for the sake of science, for the sake of art. Oh. You know, if you ever wanna tape somebody's mouth shut, this is the tape to do it with. See how hard that is to even just unroll? I'm afraid to get it stuck together because if that happens, hey, at least it's easy to tear. We got that going on for us. It's super thick though. So far, every single tape or every single line that we've done, I've waited for the paint to dry before taking the tape off. We're gonna try this one a little bit different just to see what happens. Just to see what happens. Pro tip, if you wanna make your paints last, spritz it with a bit of water and put some, put some uh, plastic wrap around them. That way you don't have to constantly wash paint down the drain, which is really not good for the environment. I'm not perfect. Definitely not perfect. But I try to do what I can, where I can. And personally, I just don't like throwing paint away. Oh man. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to ruin our painting. Ah! Ah! Oh goodness. Oh no, that is tough. Oh great, don't rip my canvas. Yeah, this was a good idea to do while the paint is wet. Because holy and look, it's ripping off the rest of the paint. Son of Okay. All right, not too bad, but still not great. I just did, we've definitely come to the conclusion of one tape you certainly don't want to use. That's Gorilla Tape. I'm sure Common Sense probably could have told you that though. It's 
not worth ruining the rest of the painting for. I feel like I gotta do this a little bit more slowly to prevent more of my paint getting ripped off the canvas. I don't think I can prevent it. <laughs> uh, this was a stupid idea. All right, well, you live and you learn. Okay, I've made the mistake so you don't have to. Nah. Okay, let's assess the damage here. So in my overhead shots, you can see the painting's damaged here, it's 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 damaged here. We, well, we got a clean line, we messed everything else up. Okay, well, at least we were able to figure out one thing in this video. We now know that we definitely don't want to use Gorilla Tape for our paintings. Just for taping people's mouth shut. Even then, you might rip their lips off their face. Ugh. Oh, now that you've seen me mess up one of my paintings, you have a better idea of what tape you can use to get nice clean lines in your paintings as well. So, if you got any value out of this video, do me a favor, hit that like button. And before you take off, check out some more abstract painting techniques right here.